Thank you so much for joining everyone here in the virtual room. My name is Maike, I'm the founder of Ocean Now, and it's beautiful to have you here together with us for this breathing workshop. I'm very happy to have this workshop today with Eva, Eva Gleason. Eva has been a member with Ocean Now for quite a while, and she's been running also uh, yoga for the ocean sessions, um, which have been beautiful. We At that time, we could be outside, actually. She's a yoga teacher, and we love her sessions. And um, yeah, Eva, I'm so glad you can take the time today. Thank you so much. No problem. Uh, my pleasure. It's really cool. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to this because breathing has become like really a very crucial element in my life. Just a few technical things. Um, if you want to switch on your camera and switch off your microphone, that would be great. And yes, yeah, so I think with that said, I can hand over to you, Eva. Okay, cool. Hi. Hi, oh, yeah, so I'm just going back. I'll just speak of you. Okay, hi everybody. Uh, really nice to see some faces actually. That's super cool to see everybody who's joining. Um, so as Mike said, my name is Aoife. I'm a yoga teacher from Ireland. And today we will be just going through some different um, reading techniques together. And um, so before we begin, we're actually just going to start with closing our eyes and just sitting down in a comfortable position. So just straighten your back, just always important, any kind of a breathing um, workshop or technique, just to sit relaxed and with a straight back and just close your eyes just for a brief uh, moment to begin with. So we're just gonna take a moment before the workshop to come in to ourselves, become present in the moment, and just listen to our natural breath, okay? So no need to change it. This isn't a, a technique as such. Just, just listening to our natural inhale and exhale. And noticing the chest rising and falling with each breath. So let the sound of your breathing, relax your mind. And let the feel of the breath coming in and out of the body, relax your mind and body as well. And then we just slowly open our eyes. So that's just to start off um, Becoming present, which is obviously uh, one of the main things about breathing, is coming into the present moment. Um, so why do we practice breathing techniques? There are so many benefits um, with learning more about our breath. We can use it to energize us in different ways. We can create more energy with our breath and lift our moods with our breath. And we can also slow down our minds, slow down our bodies, and have a cooling and soothing effect as well. So today we'll go through a few energizing techniques and a few um, soothing and more relaxing techniques. Um, as well, just quickly, the benefits of the breath. I mean, there are so many benefits, I won't even have time to go into them all today. Um, but basically, it can positively impact all your bodily functions um, positively impact your mental health, your physical health, um, and also in times of stress or anxiety, which obviously with this corona pandemic that we're all going through now, um, our breath is such a fantastic tool to help us through these stressful times and anxiety. So plenty of benefits uh, for this kind of a practice. And let's go through some different techniques together now. Um, so we're going to start with uh, Bastrika, which is a practice, a, um, a typical yoga breathing technique. Um, it is best practiced on an empty stomach. So if anybody just ate a big meal, maybe sit this one out or go a little bit slowly. Um, it's also, if you have extremely high blood pressure or are pregnant, 
um, this is also something just that I wouldn't recommend to do. So otherwise, I will explain the breath, show you a demonstration, and then you guys can join me. Um, so with Pastrika, we're increasing the oxygen levels in our blood, and we're raising the energy in our bodies, and we're kind of increasing the fire elements uh, in our bodies. So to do this, we inhale forcefully through the nostrils, and we exhale forcefully out the nostrils. Okay, so just have a listen. I'll just do a short demonstration. Okay, so it's quite a loud breath. Also, if you have a tissue or need to blow your nose, now is probably a good time. <laughs> um, so, yes, some people are going to grab tissues. <laughs> Very good. Um, yes, especially if you have a runny nose, it's not the cleanest kind of a breathing. Um, so, as I said, what we want to do is forcefully inhale and forcefully exhale. So the length of the inhale and the exhale is actually the same. Um, so we will begin this together. We're going to do three rounds. The first round we'll do just with breathing in and out through our nostrils um, at a sort of medium to slow kind of a pace. And then in the second two and third round, we will actually apply a movement with our bodies. So I will explain that um, when we go through the first round. So let's start together. So just placing your hands down on your knees. Relax your shoulders back, st uh, straighten your back as well, straighten your spine. Um, and we will do this 10 times, so just follow me and, um, and then we'll finish the first round. Okay, so let's go together. So inhaling. And then coming back to our natural breath. So just close your eyes now for a moment and just feel the changes in the body. And just becoming aware of any sensations. And if at any stage you feel dizzy or like you want to stop, please do. Any kind of breathing technique is supposed to be um, it's not supposed to cause any extreme discomfort, okay? So if you feel uncomfortable at any point in this whole workshop, please just stop. Okay, so maybe you felt a little bit of something there in the first round, maybe not. So as you can tell though, you are increasing the blood or the, sorry, the oxygen in the blood. So this is why it's such a beneficial breath. Um, so we're gonna continue with two more rounds. This time we're gonna include our hands as well. So as we inhale, I'm just gonna move back a little bit. Um, we're going to raise both our hands up into the air and open the fingers. And then when you come down, we're just making fists. So we're opening out the hands, coming up on the inhale and closing them into fists on the exhale. Okay, cool. So we're going to do that uh, 10 more times as well. Just follow my lead and we'll go at a little bit of a quicker pace. So let's start together. Inhale. And relax the hands onto the knees, close your eyes again. Coming back to your natural breath, taking a moment to feel any changes or any sensations in the body. And then we'll slowly open our eyes and let's go for our last round. So we'll do the same thing again. And this time, let's increase the speed just a little bit more um, to get that blood flowing, get that more oxygen in as possible. So let's begin. Inhale. And 
and relax the hands, close your eyes and feel the changes one more time. Coming back to a nice, deep, natural breath. And then slowly opening the eyes. So I hope you all felt a little something from that. Generally, people feel sensations of singliness, sometimes a little bit dizzy, depending on how long you do it for. Um, but just small little amounts is quite, well, it's very beneficial. And um, as I said, for really increasing that oxygen in the blood, which helps all the vital organs work and function properly, <clears throat> or at least to their best ability. Um, okay, so let's move on to our next round now that we have created a little bit of energy, a little bit of heat. And as you can tell, that kind of a breath is a great one to do maybe before any exercise or if you're feeling sleepy in the morning and need to kind of wake up quickly. And um, are also good for helping focus your mind. So if you're about to go to work or you're about to do some studying or some reading, it's a nice little practice you can do just to uh, wake up the brain as well. Um, okay, so let's move on to our next uh, breathing technique. So this breathing technique uh, applies an energy lock. So the Uddiyana Banda. Okay, so in yoga, we believe there are uh, energy locks in the body. Um, and this particular lock that we will practice today is in the belly. So in the abdomen. Um, so basically we can use this lock this energy lock to help us raise kind of old or stagnant energy that is at the base of our belly or base of our torso it's kind of like a way to recycle energy as well so it is an energy raiser it is a good one to do in the morning to kind of lift up your energies um, and also it's a great um, massage on your abdominal organs abdominal organs sorry and also good for toning muscles around the stomach and diaphragm as well. Um, so I'm going to show you a little demonstration first of how to use this um, energy lock, the Uddiyana Banda, and then we're gonna apply a little breathing technique that can go along with this one. Again, if anybody is pregnant, uh, this is definitely not something to do if you're pregnant, especially, or if you've got any bad menstrual cramps um, or stomach ulcers, um, please sit this one out. So I'm going to actually stand up. So when we are doing, when we are applying this Uddiyana Banda, this energy lock, we're going to stand uh, just with a little distance between the legs, bending the knees and just placing the hands down on the knees. So we're just trying to keep a straight back. And before we apply the breathing technique, I'm just going to show you where exactly this energy lock is okay so it's right in the belly so i'm going to actually pull up my top a little bit and so what you want to do is pull the belly in okay as much as you can so you want if you can the ribs just creating like a pit in the belly okay so pulling it in as much as possible this is basically applying the energy lock here the abdominal lock um, and basically when we do this with a uh, breath as well, we are locking the energy into our bodies and lifting the energy up through our bodies. So let us all practice this together first, and then I'm gonna show you um, a breathing technique that goes along. So just uh, let's actually stand up if you want. <laughs> Nobody has to, but you're invited to if you like. Okay, cool. Um, so just have your feet like hip width distance or just a little bit more than your hips. So just like a small parting between the legs, a little bit wider than your hips. And just bend your knees down. And we're just going to keep our back straight and just lean forward. Place your hands onto your knees. Sorry, I know you can't see it all in the camera. Um, and important to keep the back straight. Okay, so keep your back straight. So let's first just try and apply this lock. So I'll invite everybody to pull your belly in. Okay, tuck your belly in as much as you can. So just pull the belly up towards the spine and then just release the belly. Okay, and we'll do this again. So just to feel the lock, 
pull the belly up towards the spine. Okay, create a pit in the stomach and then release. Okay, nice. So now that we know exactly where the lock is, or I hope uh, you guys do, I hope I'm explaining it okay, um, we are going to uh, do this with a breath. So when we're inhaling, we're gonna inhale through the nose for four, I'll count it. And then we exhale for four, okay? I'll count that as well. You can exhale out the nose, out the nose or out the mouth. Once we exhale, we're going to keep the breath out, okay? So keep the breath out of the body and pull the belly up, okay? So we're pulling the belly up as we have already exhaled. So let me just run through very quickly. So once more, we're gonna inhale for four through the nostrils, exhale for four, and on the exhale, once our full lung is empty, then we pull the belly up towards the spine and we hold that for four as well. And then we release and come back to our natural breath. So we're pulling the belly in once the lungs are empty, okay? So now that we're all in our position, let's begin. We'll just do like three rounds of this. <clears throat> okay, so let's inhale together through the nostrils. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Pull the belly in, hold the breath out. Two, three, four. Release the belly and inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold the breath out, pull the belly in. Two, three, four. And inhale, release the belly. Two, three, Four. Let's continue. Exhale. Two, three, four. Hold the breath out. Pull the belly in. Two, three, four. Release the belly. Inhale. Two, three, four. And exhale. Slowly, let's just come back up. <clears throat> and we'll slowly sit down on our chairs or take a little stretch if anybody wants. <laughs> Okay, so this kind of a breath does take practice. Um, you may not get it on your first time. That's pretty normal. Um, it does take a lot of practice, uh, but it is extremely beneficial. And it also helps for like, if you're bloated, your metabol it regulates your metabolism, helps stimulate digestion. Um, and also, as I said before, it raises the energy in the body. It kind of locks the energy and brings it up. So a nice one for the morning, or if you need a little bit of a energy booster. Okay, so now that we've done some energy raising ones, let's have a little bit of relaxation and cooling down. <clears throat> so we will move on to our next uh, breathing technique, um, which is an excellent breathing technique if you are suffering from anxiety, it also is very good if you feel like you're having a panic attack or you're in a very uh, stressful situation. Um, it can be practiced at any point. It doesn't have to be in these circumstances. It's also fantastic to do in the morning or in the evening time. It's helping with insomnia um, and also just helps like, balance out and levels out your emotions. Um, so this is called Analone Valone. Uh, so if we are back seating or sitting, and um, just keep your back straight once again, relax your shoulders. So always just have um, a nice uh, straight spine. And if you're sitting on a chair, just placing your feet nice, be secure down onto the ground. <clears throat> and then we are gonna take our right hand. And so there's a few options here. And um, we can take our thumb and our little finger or you can take out your ring finger. So whichever, whichever feels more comfortable with your hand. Um, I usually use my thumb and my big finger. Uh, so this is an alternate nostril breathing technique. So we're gonna inhale through one nostril and exhale out the other nostril. Then we inhale through that nostril and exhale out the other nostril. So I'm gonna guide this first. Let me just show you a quick example. So first we're putting our thumb on our right nostril exhaling at the left, 
Then inhaling left and exhaling right. Inhaling right, closing and exhaling left. So it's basically an alternation of the nostrils. Um, I'm going to do this with a slight breath count. So we'll inhale for four. We'll hold both nostrils together, holding the breath for four. And then we'll exhale for six. So there's a little bit of breath retention here. And we use this in yoga to help basically um, preserve the prana, preserve the energy in the body. So that's where we can hold the breath, hold the energy in to gain more benefits from us. So let's do this together. So as I said, we're going to inhale for four, hold for four, then exhale for six. So let's just take our hands. Let's place our thumb on our right nostril. We we'll begin by exhaling out the left and inhale left. Two, three, four, hold. Two, three, four, exhale right. Two, three, four, five, six. Inhale right. Two, three, four, hold. Two, three, four, exhale left. Two, three, four, five, six, inhale left. Two, three, four, hold. Two, three, four, exhale right. Two, three, four, five, six, inhale right. Two, Three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale left, two, three, four, five, six, inhale left, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale right, two, three, four, five, six, inhale right, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale left, two, three, four, five, six, and slowly releasing the hand. And if you want to close your eyes and just take a moment to come back to your natural breath or grab a tissue again, perhaps, <laughs> depending and just feeling your natural breath again feeling any kind of a uh, change or just simple sensation in the body and then slowly opening your eyes Okay, so that's another, yeah, simple kind of effective breathing technique that you can practice, as I said, in these kind of, especially in times of stress, um, but at any time, and it's for anybody. So nice one for everyone. Um, so before we finish, let's just do one last um, kind of relaxing, calming breath. Um, another great one for, as I said, like relaxing the nervous system. So um, with these deep, slow breathing techniques and um, we're kind of we're taking we're, we're nourishing our nervous system basically we're taking it from the fight and flight response the stress kind of a response and we're taking it into the um rest and digest response so this is the place where we can heal our bodies and increase the ability of our immune system so it is very beneficial to actually have that switch in the nervous system to go into this relaxation state um, so that our bodies can stay strong and that they can heal. Um, so for the last little technique that we will do today, um, I will ask everybody to close their eyes. You can just sit again comfortably, just remaining with a nice straight spine, just relaxing your hands on your legs or wherever feels comfortable. And so this breath, is called extended exhalation breath. So again, I will be counting the breath 
um, we're going to inhale each time for four, like we've been doing. Um, but on each exhale, we're going to increase uh, by one count. So for example, we'll inhale for four, exhale for four, then we'll inhale for four, exhale for five, and so on, until we come to an exhalation of 10. So this was basically just uh, helping the body come into a more deeper, relaxed state. So if you want as well, you can actually place one hand on the chest and one hand on the belly. If, um, if that helps you feel your breath a little bit more, feel the sensation of your breath, um, or else leave them comfortably. It's up to you. So first we'll just, again, relaxing, closing the eyes. Exhaling. And then let's inhale together through the nostrils. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Inhale again naturally and exhale slowly. And we'll close the practice with three breaths, keeping our eyes closed. We'll inhale through the nostrils and we're going to exhale nice and loudly out the mouth. Okay, so just releasing any tension that might be stuck in the body um, or any um, stress. Let's do that together. Take a nice deep inhale through the nostrils and exhale. Inhale through the nostrils and exhale out the mouth. One more. Inhale through the nostrils. And exhale out the mouth. Slowly releasing the hands and opening your eyes. Um, so that is, we're coming to the end of the workshop now. Um, I hope you guys felt some of the benefits from the different techniques. Um, as I said, the breath is quite diverse, so you can use it in many ways, whether it's raising energy or it's really slowing down um, your mind and your, your energy as well. So, yes, as I said, quite diverse. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the workshop and felt some benefits. And if anybody would like to ask me any questions about any breathing techniques or if you have your own personal practice and would like any advice or to maybe find out about more breathing techniques, um, I would love to hear any questions, so just send me an email or drop me a message on Facebook. Um, I have left my Facebook link and my email just here in the Zoom chat, so you can find the links there. And if anybody would like to donate any money, this is a free workshop, but if you would like to donate, um, I left my PayPal uh, account there as well, but that's not an obligation. 
Um, so yeah, as I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the workshop and really thank you so much for, for joining. And uh, yeah, it's great to practice with people and to also just, yeah, spread, spread the knowledge of the breath. So thank you, everybody. Thank you so much, Eva. Amazing. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I know we, are, we only have half an hour today, um, but I just wanted to say thank you again. And um, uh, as we're a little limited in time, maybe we can give it three minutes or so if people would like to unmute themselves um, and just say how they liked it uh, or just pop in the feeling you have. Mm -hmm. Just like pop, just one snap or so. Um, feel free. <laughs> Yeah, any words? <laughs> yes, uh, I'm Alexandra. So thank you very much for this workshop. It really, like, I feel the benefits, like, right on the, on the moment I start. It's, like, feeling better. It's really helpful for, yeah, for, like, coming to my own body and, like, being there and, yeah, actually realizing that everything's okay everything's all right and like yeah we're yeah. lucky to be here and yeah so <laughs> thank you very much yeah no well well described that's exactly the beauty of us exactly it's just coming straight back to the present moment and just yeah everything is okay we can breathe and it's such a simple but so extremely important uh, awareness yeah cool thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs> Anyone else? Uh, hi, Davyayo. This was really nice. I came in with like a very bad cold and I've been having it all day, all morning. And it was oh. really, really nice. Like I'm feeling so much better. <laughs> ah, good, good, good. Yeah, especially these kind of blowing ones, they can really, they can also clear like the phlegm off the lungs as well. So they can be quite beneficial even when you're, yeah, you're a bit cold or you're sniffly. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> ah, I'm glad. Thank you. Ah, you're welcome, Divya. Nice to have us join you. Join us. Anyone? Some people came closer to the microphone. It looks like they'd like to say something, but I'm not <laughs> one of My sister's there. Nikla, you say something. <laughs> hey. <laughs> um yeah, I just want to say thank you very much. It was lovely. Um, I feel nice and relaxed, but funnily, I've been sitting around all day, so I haven't been moving a lot, and I actually feel a lot warmer now after doing that work. So oh, that yeah. Nice cool. too. And uh, I do feel the um, the benefits of the band of lock in my digestive system, <laughs> so that was good too. Mm, yeah, yeah. Gets, the, gets the metabolism going. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Nicola. <laughs> Great. All right. Well, thank you so much again. I think then with this said, um, we're closing the session. Um, Eva, amazing. I've learned something again and I also refreshed uh, one or two I haven't done for a while. Cool. The, the, the effect is really diverse. So it's really good to bear this in mind and to make it like a little habit or so. And Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Nice. Thank you so much, everyone. Yeah, thank you everybody for joining. Thank you. Have a beautiful evening and we hope to see you soon again. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.